What's up, family? Okay, so Malia Obama was proposed to. Only one little problem. The dude who proposed to her was a madman. Yeah, a stalker who has been after her since the family's days in the White House. It goes like this, y'all. A New York man was detained by the U.S. Secret Service last week for allegedly stalking and harassing former first daughter, Malia Obama. Jared Nilton Cardoso allegedly showed up at Malia's internship in Tribeca and begged her to marry him. According to a new report from New York Daily News, Secret Service agents detained Cardoso, 30, after he stalked the 18-year-old at several locations around New York City. Sources told the New York Daily News that on April 10th, Cardoso showed up on the fourth floor of a building in Manhattan's Tribeca neighborhood where Obama interns held up a sign at the office window and loudly begged her for her hand in marriage. Agents reportedly recognized him as a longtime stalker. Yeah, catch that, catch the drift, y'all. A longtime stalker of the former first daughter and revealed he had attempted to get into the White House in the past. The Secret Service went to Cardoso's apartment in Brooklyn last week to interview him. They determined he suffered from psychiatric issues and escorted him to a nearby hospital for evaluation. On Tuesday, the Secret Service reported Cardoso to the New York Police Department. It is unclear if stalking or harassment charges will be filed against him. Malia, the oldest daughter of former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama, began an internship with the Weinstein Company in February after vacationing with her family in Palm Springs, California. She has an interest in film and previously interned for the Halle Berry CBS series, Extant, as well as the HBO series, Girls. She has been living in New York City for the past few months on a gap year before she's scheduled to begin attending Harvard this fall. Her younger sister, Sasha Obama, is finishing high school in Washington, D.C. Okay, what's the side first, y'all? The Secret Service says it's unclear if stalking or harassment charges will be filed. I mean, what's, what's unclear? I mean, he stalked the former first daughter. Um, I mean, if it was anybody, he stalked him. He's been stalking. Y'all got a fucking record of him stalking her. Y'all said he tried to get into the White House. What the hell are you waiting on? Why would he be on the loose anyway? This dude shouldn't even be on the loose at all. He shouldn't be able to just walk amongst people anyway. This dude is going to do something to somebody if y'all keep on playing games. Second thing that stood out. They say he showed up on the fourth floor of the building. So that means that he had to do a little traveling. It wasn't just a dip in, dip out. He had to navigate his way to get onto the fourth floor. And if you know anything about the buildings in New York, the elevators, most of them are slow as hell unless you're going to be, unless you're in one of those uh, like brand new buildings. But Almost every single building in New York City has a security guard on the first level. Somebody who slows you down. You can't just walk up and just get on an elevator. So he had to have, he had to do something. He had, it had to be some type of trouble that he had to go through to get up on that floor. And he got all the way up to that floor and was able to put up a sign, hold up a sign asking her to marry him. So I'm thinking, where in the hell was the Secret Service? I mean, isn't it their job to serve as a buffer for, uh, for people of prominence, you know, public figures who are under their protection? 
isn't it their job to serve as a buffer between them and would-be stalkers or even just the public in general? So he wasn't even supposed to be able to get that close to her, but he held up a sign. If he could get that close to her and hold up a sign in the window, that means he could hold up a gun in the window and he could shoot her. Can y'all imagine how that story would have went? That could have, that, that's very conceivable. It could have happened. So what the hell is the Secret Service doing? Why are they ass on the payroll? Hell, I could have done a better job than that. Hell, if I was, if I was Malia's security, shit, man. As soon as I saw some dude looking strange come through there, man, hold, whoa, stop, wait. What you need, bro? Well, no, get on back. Step back. You're too close. He ain't coming up to no window, holding up no signs. First of all, I would have made sure that the space that she was in was secured. Then I would have stepped outside and monitored, and I'm watching everything. This is about if I was a Secret Service agent. I would have been like, that don't look right. Who is that? Let me check that out. You know what I'm saying, man? I mean, this, this is this is Secret Service 101. You know, this is something that from a internship investigative uh, cop, whatever. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I mean, this is from a fundamental, this is just this is just entry-level position. This is entry-level position security, man. Wait a minute, man. This don't look right. Step aside. You know, that would not ha have happened on my watch. Not at all. And then they say they found a dude later or walking around <laughs> with a stick pretending to be blind while watching Malia. Watching her the whole time. Pretending to be blind. So this dude, they so say they say he mentally ill. That motherfucker ain't that mentally ill. It, it, that, that was pretty ingenious for him to go through the trouble of getting him a blind stick and some glasses, some shades, and acting like he's blind. Nah, he ain't that damn mentally ill. Uh, he know exactly what he wants. He knew exactly what he was doing. It was calculating. He knew exactly what he was doing. So I wouldn't just send this dude over and escort him over to a mental hospital like they say he did, like they say the Secret Service did. I wouldn't just escort him to a hospital, a mental hospital, and leave it at that. I would be all over his ass. I'd monitor the hell out of him. In fact, well, you can't just lock him up, but shit. I'd be pushing for something like that because he's more than just a little off. Yeah, there's something really wrong with that dude. I guess y'all don't remember uh, Mark Chapman who killed uh, John Lennon. Y'all remember that? Dude just walked up to uh, John Lennon and then pop, just like that, gone. And then you had the other guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's that dude's name? Uh, what's the guy named that the guy named that killed uh, uh that tried to kill Reagan uh Hinckley whatever his name I think it may, have, it may have been John Hinckley but whatever that guy named who tried to kill Reagan you got him uh just walked up to him and bam 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 bam, bam. it's easy it's that easy so I don't know man but but in that case I remember the Secret Service taking a bullet one of the agents took a bullet for, for Reagan. So dude was on some Superman, you know, heroic shit on that day. He did his job. Whoever that dude is, we need to find him. If he's still alive, we need to find him and put him on Malia. Let him do the work because it looks like she had four Secret Service agents on the job and the dude was still able to walk right up to the window in her meeting and hold up a sign. Like I said, he could hold up a sign, he could hold up a gun. 
And if he can hold up a gun, he can take a life. So Secret Service, y'all need to become a little less damn secret and have a little bit more service. You dig what I'm saying? No more talking.